Welcome to Sovereign Turtle JavaScript video about what to save in your JSON Web Token. JSON Web Token is a standard for exchanging JSON data, which are protected by an encrypted signature. The JSON data themselves are not encrypted, but you can verify that they have been created by you and that no one else has changed them. You can use JWT to share any JSON data, but RFC 7519 provides a standard for what information you should store in the payload. In general, you use the JSON to store some claims. For example, you claim that the JWT was issued to some subject. Here are the actual RFC options. ISS, issuer, represents who gives the JWT token. It can be, for example, the address of your server. Sub, subject, identifies who the JWT belongs to. It can be, for example, the identifier of the user. Aut, audience, represents who the JWT token is supposed to be used by. It can be, for example, the address of your services. XP, expiration time, represents the time when the token will stop being valid. And BF, not before, represents the starting time from which the token is supposed to be valid. IAT, issued at, represents the time when the token was issued and finally, JTI is the JWT identifier. It's the unique identifier of the token itself. This is an example of the final JSON before it is signed. Keep in mind that the data is not encrypted. Even though you can add any additional claims, you should not add potentially sensitive data. Certainly don't include a copy of the user's database record. If you use JWT as an identity token, then the most important claim is the subject because you can use it to identify the user in your services. If you use JWT as an access token, you use a claim that the holder of this token is authorized to use some part of the system. You can do that using the audience claim, which can be a single URI or a string record, or it can be an array of these. Service consuming the token can then verify that it is among the audience listed in the JWT. As part of the token verification, you can use the JSON Web Token Library to verify any of the claims for you. Expiration and not before claims are verified automatically. In this example, we are taking a JWT and verifying algorithm, audience, and issuer claims. There would be an error thrown if verification failed. That's everything for this video. You can find the code examples in the video's description. And if you want to know more about JWT, there are more videos on my channel. And right now I am working on adding a video to help you choose the right cryptographic algorithm for a JWT signature. And another video that will focus on where and how to store the JWT on the client side in the browser for the most secure solution. Have a nice day and see you with the next video.